So this is Trump lackey leaks. All those little people around him who didn't really mean a lot, but who are listening uh, in the background. Let's see what the video has to say. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, gee, thanks a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Wow. Cool. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So all the folks who were outside the door listening or were in the room or who got some information secondhand from the people that came out of the room and said, you won't believe what just happened, that's what I want to tell on this one. I mean, there were all kinds of rumors, even of Ivanka coming out and saying stuff like, you won't believe what's going on in there or how this has turned or we had to bring him back to Earth and, and uh, Kushner. So, but I don't expect to get names out of the cards. I just expect to get information and then we'll compare it to what's uh, being coming out. So these are Los Scarabio cards. This is the Visa Versa Tarot. And uh, I'm going to tell you, the, the folks who have this idea have some difficult names, but I'm going to try to get through it. So Massimiliano, Filadoro, Lunea, Weatherstone, and the artwork by David Corsi. So nice, nice, nice cards. They've got that cool kind of magnetic clasp that's really neat to get. The box, if you gave it as a gift or if you received it, you think, wow, this was a very thoughtful gift. They've got all these nice little pulls that you can unpack everything easily with. And the uh, guidebook is a color guidebook, easy to read, um, and lots of thought and intention into these uh, suggestions for the divinations that you can use. Um, the cards, again, have this nice little pull that you can get them out of the box with. But what I really love about these cards, well, it intimidated me for a long time, actually, is that there's no front and there's no back. There's a this side, which is indicated by the little embellishment on the right-hand side of the, of the card. And then there's a that side, which is in, indicated by a little embellishment, embellishment on the left side of the card. So you kind of get the idea that this is um, um, the, and there's no right and there's no wrong, there's no good and there's no bad. It's just that um, a different um, view on how to divine this card when it comes up. So the problem with them is that when you're shuffling them, you know, you know, once you've dealt your cards, you know what's going to be on the other side because, you know, it's there. So, you know, you're going to know that this is a uh, King of Cups uh, right away. Uh, if that doesn't bother you, if you can divert that from your mind, the cards are beautiful. And uh, so you see that the artwork goes right to the edge. Um, they give you nice hints. Uh, on the cards as to how they, uh, what they are, because so, sometimes that can be an issue when you're trying to figure out uh, how to use these cards. And it doesn't matter which way you put them out, because there's a this and a that side, and uh, you've got uh, work, things to work with. So it's almost like you're getting two decks of cards in one. And uh, it used to intimidate me, but now I love using these cards. And uh, they're glossy, they're easy to use, they slide off of each other, but not too in a bad way. And um, I like to spread them out like this so that, uh, or if I have a reading for someone, let them spread them out so that people kind of get their energy into the cards. And so this is the this and that, uh, vice versa tarot. And uh, I love them. So the Trump Lackey Leaks. I love these cards for that. Just because there are so many choices, it can go any way. Um, and I think these are the perfect cards for this. You know, we're talking about the people who were on the perimeter of the decision making is how I feel this will be. The Trump Lackey Leaks. So are they going to um, put out enough information that um, brings this fella to justice? The Trump Lackey Leaks. The people who are on the perimeter, who they're not the decision makers, maybe some of them are right there next to the decision maker, and that's him, and um, and others are the ones who are charged with getting that done, and who kind of, they're like the uh, the the butler in the room who hears everything that's going on and goes back to the other servants and says, "You won't believe what's going on in there." So, 
Trump Lackey Leaks, six cards to see if we're going to have significant, uh, useful, um, actionable information from the Trump Lackey Leaks. Okay? And uh, it could even extend to those people who, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, who um, do have a little more uh, sway with him uh, and guide him around. But uh, these cards will happen because they have uh, pictures on both sides. I'll reveal them on the side that we're not looking at. Signifier card for the Trump Lackey Lease. Significant information coming out? Let's see. The signifier card for that is the Six of Cups. You know, the Six of Cups speaks to us. Cups are emotion, uh, um, you know, deep felt feelings. And the Six of Cups really harkens back to a time when things were better, when they were clearer, when they were the way they were. And we have this fella up on the balcony looking out over how things were, when they were fruitful, when everything was flourishing. These truck cups were all in a row. And uh, so that's the signifier. The person, the lackey, or the lackeys, who are looking and saying, you know, this could have been, or maybe should have been, this emotional way. And the challenge to that, then, is this um, knight of, um, of wands. You know, wands are actions, uh, forward uh, movement, fire, uh, getting something done, plans. And so this knight isn't showing his face to us. That's very interesting, because, you know, these cards are this and that side. This one is fully showing us what he's got. But this one right here, he's kind of turned away. He's carrying that plan. It's on fire. We can see that he has it, and he's taking it somewhere. Where is he taking it? Just like this card, where this fellow is looking at the past and kind of thinking, yeah, I liked it when it was like this. And this fellow with the plan, with the action, is got his back to us. Does it mean that he's not willing to show his face? Or does it mean he's walking away with that uh, with that plan that he's got? We'll see. The base of this reading then is this uh, two of wands. So we're still in this uh, this uh, uh, environment of these plans, this action. But these are short term plans. So this uh, very determined um, master of this situation here, uh, maybe his castle, he's got uh, one uh, plan in his hand, the other one is firmly uh, uh, set in, and this other one he's getting ready to move it forward, and uh, so looking to the future for this short-term plan. This is hopeful to me as to whether these lackeys will bring forth what they've got. In the past of this reading, ah, we've got the star, and the star is, um, again, it's a subtle illumination. It's finding the right balance. This person is involved with the water of emotion and the value and the um, um, importance of being on dry land. <clears throat> so, and it's interesting that this is a woman. So in the past of this reading is the star, that subtle illuminating energy. <clears throat> so I'm so coffee. In the sky in this reading, for the lackeys, ah, so this Eight of Swords is feeling bound up and still, look, not revealing their face to us. If it was this way, we'd know who this person is. But this way, it's showing us that they're not revealing their face to us. You know, the eagle just makes me think of America. And we can see that the binds are loose. These are truth, justice, rules, law. And this person is very loosely uh, uh, bound up here. So it could be they're going to wriggle free and start to wield some of these uh, truth, justice, rules, law. And the likely outcome of this for the lackeys revealing, okay, finally we have somebody who's faced us. This uh, page of cups, this is the fellow who brings a message to the court. Okay, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for some of these people to bring this message to us. It's emotional to them. There can be some surprises. This page has turned around and is looking square in the face and saying, okay, here it is. Here's what I have. Interesting. So it looks like there will be uh, someone or some of them who will turn around and show us what they've got. Now, for the last part of this, will this be actionable? Will this information be actionable? The signifier or the self of that question then is going to be this Knight of Swords. Okay, the Knight is the fellow in the Royal Court who's going to take what he's been given. Again, not showing us his face. Look at that. But he's going to, the Knight is going to make this thing happen. That's his job. He's going to take this truth, this justice, this rule, this law, and he's going to bring it forward. And look, he's raring to go. Okay, so this night, uh, the self of this question is, yeah, there are some people who feel very uh, passionately about this. The um, environment that that's in then, with this, look at this, a great big offer of an action. Okay, fist up, action in full display. We still don't see who the person is, do we? But uh, this ace is a great big yes card, and it's in um, a little bit of a haze. But yeah, this is coming forward. 
Okay, that's the environment that it's in. The uh, hopes and the fears for this, then, let's get this out of here, is, ah, the tower card. Hopes and the fears, the tower, complete and utter destruction. For me, I mean, I know that that's how I feel about this, but I have to say, this tower card is telling me that, yeah, this is bringing forth a tower moment, okay, for the bad guys. And then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing is right here, with this five, six, seven, ah, the chariot, and it's coming forward fast, still in the obscure uh, uh, darkness, okay? But this uh, chariot is coming forward with two huge empowered beasts, and we're represented here by a feminine energy and a masculine energy. So it looks like we're gonna have multiple people are gonna bring forth what they know, okay? They're gonna take it to, to be delivered. That's what that tells me. Let's go over it again, just for the heck of it. Okay, so will there be uh, people who will tell what they know? So with this Six of Cups, yeah, looking to the past, wanting things the way they were, when they were better, okay? Uh, challenged by this Knight of Wands. Yeah, not showing us his face, but bringing a plan forward. Underpinned, the base of this, by this Two of Wands, someone getting ready to make some sort of short-term plan, Okay. Um, then the past of this reading is the temperance, uh, the star that's involved, still in obscurity, but finding the balance uh, of what that needs to be had there, but still illuminated. In the sky of this, oh, I don't like it when they're not nice and neat. In the sky of this, we have um, this um, uh, eight of uh, swords being bound up, again, not showing us their face. We have, for me, this is America. This is an eagle coming in right there to, to help and, uh, and it can wiggle out of these binds and start to wield these truths and justices. And then the likely outcome is that there will be a page who brings forth some sort of emotional, um, uh, emotional situation with some surprise. The self of that question with this knight of swords, yet charging in, again, still obscured, not showing us who they are, but charging in with some determination to get this done. That's what the knight's job is, okay, to make uh, good uh, use of what they've been charged with. And then this, uh, in the environment of what? Let's get this plan going. Here it is. I'm not going to show you who I am, but here's what I've got. And it's substantial and it's flourishing, okay? Uh, and in the hopes and the fears, look, tower card, tower moment, that it all comes down. And look, it even has right here, these two beasts that we see right here. These two beasts have brought forth whatever it is, and now they're standing guard while it crumbles. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is that chariot moment where it comes forth in, in obscurity, but still showing their face, carrying it, uh, this oath. For me, this is an oath. And, uh, and those two beasts, uh, yeah. They, this will be moving in, in the direction of justice. What do you think? I don't know. That's all we got. I guess we'll learn more later. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.